Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl so fast. Thank you for clicking on the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. And today, as you can see, we are going to be making this lovely beaded bag. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Now, this bag made me like I did had a lot of tries to achieve this bag. As you can see, with the amount of twisted twine I have right there, so I'm using this purple. As dark purple almost blue sugar beads a 0.60 fishing line and that is my craft board right there uh -huh. this craft board gave me headache and a pair of scissors now like I said this craft board was locally made it's not one of those ones that you just purchase and the guy who did it made me so angry like some of the holes were not even some were too big like anyway let me just tell you the measurements the length was seven and a quarter inch and my width was five inches and i'm just going to get started and keep my rants for later so i just inserted my twine into my first hole and i crossed the two twines with one bead so make sure you cut the fishing line which is long enough and comfortable enough for you to complete the first part of your board so that is the first um, bead that we are starting with you just put your fishing line in the first hole then you cross the two fishing lines with one bead now we are going to be talking the fishing line on our left and right so it's going to be easier for you in our left bead we are going to in our left fishing line we're going to put one bead in our right fishing line we'll put one bead and we are going to cross with a third bead we are going to cross both fishing lines with a third bead so this is just a normal way of doing um beaded bags but now what we are going to do with the fishing line on my right hand which is a fish fishing line facing away from the board i am going to go under our board and insert that fishing line into the next hole that you see then I am going to send that fishing line into the previous bead we crossed with as you can see so yeah you just cross it like my fishing line was really long but I prefer to suffer with a longer one at the beginning than to cut more while I'm doing it because it's not going to look good. You're going to lose the tension in your back if you use too many fishing lines at the start. So I'm just going to continue one bead in my left fishing line, another bead in my right, and now we are going to cross with a third bead. So this is the method you're going to use to connect your beads to the craft board then you're going to take the fishing line on your right hand and you're going to insert it into the next hole you're going to insert it into the next hole of your back or the craft board then you're going to insert it into the previous um, bead you used in crossing so you're just going to do this entire thing down this width of the bag and I'm going to show you what to do when we get to the next part. Okay, we are about to start working on the bottom of our bag. So with the fishing line, with the fishing line on my right hand, I am just going to go ahead and put three beads on the fishing line. So this is going to turn our work so we can start working at the bottom of our um, craft plate. So yeah, you just go ahead and do that. Guys, I haven't seen like the reason why I tried to do this bag was because I didn't see any tutorial on YouTube showing how to do um, rectangular or square um, beaded bags using with the craft board so that's why i just had to try i've seen circular i've seen the six-sided ones the eight-sided but not a square but anyway i'm just going to continue so with the 
twine on my right I am going to go under my craft board and insert the twine there and we are going to send that twine through the previous um, bead we crossed with so we're going to continue our normal routine till we get to the other side like till we finish the base so like I said I had um, like the holes in this craft board were just too spaced out like since I said it was locally done so I had to go into the same hole twice or maybe yes twice and the next hole like twice again in order for me to do my back properly and for my back to take a shape also you want to make sure that your holes of your back are part like let me say they cross the they cross the end of your craft board you should be able to see it from the other side okay here I just put three beads obviously in my right twine so I'll be able to turn my back and start working upwards so we're going to use our same method to work upwards and then we we have covered our back or I have covered the base of my <laughs> craft board so I'm just um, securing it as always like you send your twine under then over and into the previous crossing bead so now we are going to we need our twine to be at the edge okay because that is where we are going to be working this is our front part of our back already so we need to work on the sides we need to work on the side so i'm just inserting my twine into the beads till i get to the end to the end of or the edge of our back and that is how our twine is going to look like at the when you get to the edge and um, yeah you're just going to continue working from there i'm going to there yeah, you know, you can pause the video and look carefully you can see two twines going into the same hole like i was so mad at this craft board but i'm so happy that it worked out in the end so um we're just going to continue i just put my torch or you just need something to support so you can be able to do your work properly so i picked up three beads on the twine on my left then i cross with the third bead with the twine on my right so this is going to turn our work and we are going to start working downwards guys it's so hard not to say crochet or roll <laughs> Like I am so used to doing crochet videos and it feels like I haven't done a beaded video in a minute but I, I just hope you all will understand. Now our left twine is going to take two beads and we are going to cross with the twine on our left. So there we have it. And our white twine, our right twine is going to go into the bead closest to it. I'm going to insert it like you see in the video. Then with the twine on our left, we are going to put two beads, then cross it. And we are going to do that for the entire row. And here we are at the end of our row or side or whatever it's called in beads <laughs> in crochet it's called row anyway now with the twine on our right we are going to put two beads then we are going to cross with the second bead and this is going to prepare to turn our work so we can start working downwards now with the twine on our right which is the twine which is facing upwards we are going to insert three beads which is going to completely turn our work so we can be able to work downwards so there we are inserting our three beads then we are going to cross with the third bead and this will just change the direction of our work and we are going to start working downwards and we're going to con we're going to use the same procedure we used for the previous row 
the right twine is going to go inside the next bead then the left twine is going to take two beads and we are going to cross with the second bead so you're just going to continue this way till you get to the total number of rows that you need for your bag if you want it thicker go ahead and do more rows okay so here i am i'm done with um the bag so i had two rows each on the craft board as you can see this craft board i think it had eight the other one had seven i was so mad but i still made it work somehow like make sure your craft board if you want to do it locally make sure your craft board is even okay you need it even okay um now we are just going to join the craft board like i said you can add more rows if you want the bag to be bigger or thicker you add more rows of beads now um i'm just going to join the bag which is inserting one bead into the like i had some previous twine in the other craft board so i just inserted one bead there then crossed with another bead and the twine on our left and right they are going to go into the beads closest to them and we are going to cross with one bead to join and you're going to need to do your entire work very firm you need to be careful not to break your board but you need your work to be firm so pull that twine pull it so hard so your back can stay firm so this is our back after joining look at how pretty it looks anyway i lost the clip on how to do the rest of the back but i'm going to show you for my previous for my other video this is another video that i did for the um back so all you need to do is to make a twine a long twine join it together and insert many beads inside it doesn't matter the color or the shape this is going to create our handle as you can see i used um black i used um black beads for the handle and make the handle as long as you want so here i'm just doing the satin for the handle if you want to see let me see a clear video if i don't explain well just check out my other video of this bag so i just tacked it or sewed the satin the satin is about um a hundred um a hundred centimeters in length then seven inches in the width so i just tacked it like so then i flipped it inside out using one of my paint brushes then i just um tried to pull the um <laughs> the handle that i made into the satin so i was trying i was using my crochet hook i just wrapped it around the twine around my hook like so pulled it out then I sent the handle in and I when I tried to tie it I realized that my handle was too long so I had to remove some of the black beads so like I said if you use any color of beads it's not a problem because you are still going to cover it up now I was just sewing the satin to the back so it won't move anywhere so you go ahead and do that so you just go back and forth back and forth guys if you have a sewing machine please use it please use it don't do what i did here if you don't have okay so this is my um pouch that i my drawstring pouch that i made with my hands i sewed with my hands if you want to see a tutorial on how to do your pouch with your hands with no sewing machine you let me know so i just sewed it to the back and that was it if you want to see a clearer video make sure you check out my other tutorial of this bag as well so this is it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye